So in my last video I did performance benchmarks on Unity, GNOME, and KDE. The video was titled, What is the Best Linux Desktop Environment for Gaming, Part 1. And I'll admit, the title is a little clickbaity, if not pretentious. But the goal of that video was to answer some very common questions that I see from people who are new to the whole Linux thing. And much to my surprise, that video ended up becoming largely successful. Now I got a lot of crap about the video basically being me showing off a spreadsheet. And I'll admit, that's actually kind of half-assed. But the more constructive feedback that people gave me was more around the fact that I left out other desktop environments, specifically XFCE, Mate, and LXDE. But this video is aiming to fill that gap by including those desktop environments. So if you watched the last video, you may remember this spreadsheet. It's a little bit different. I removed the columns that dealt with overclocking because really that's not relevant. What we're interested in is base performance across the desktop environments and window managers. So let's get rolling. So for this video I made more liberal use of the bolded numbers and what that means is each section that won a specific score. So a bolded number here means that Unity and Compiz did the best for Julia Floating Point 32 than any other desktop environment. Now we won't be seeing much of this spreadsheet because I'm going to be showing you the actual benchmarks, but I will be reading off the frames per second. I opted not to read off the scores because it becomes really tedious after about, oh, five or six scores. So let's start with XFCE. This is XFCE 4.12, the latest version, and it uses XFWM 4.12.1. And at idle upon login, it was using 0.6 gigabytes of RAM. Pretty darn low, really. So. On to the benchmarks. XFCE with Fermark got us 7 frames per second. Julia Floating Point 32 got us 113 frames per second. Volo Explosion got us 7 frames per second. Moving on to Mad Shaders and Marble got us 31 frames per second. Grid of Cylinders got us 12 frames per second. And the Tokyo Benchmark got us 7 frames per second. The Valley Benchmark provided us with a measly 9 frames per second. And the War Thunder benchmark provided us with 23 frames per second, the lowest out of all of the War Thunder benchmarks. I was somewhat surprised at that. Now, I didn't change any of the compositing options or any of the unredirection options. In fact, I actually removed that from the notes because I left everything default. So I don't know if by default it's unredirecting, if it's compositing. I have no idea. This is all default. So if you were to use XFCE right out of the box using the same configuration that I get, these are the results you would see. So all in all, XFCE actually got the lowest scores out of everything. It didn't win anything. Moving right along to mate now i actually have absolutely positively no experience with mate but the version of mate that shipped with ubuntu 15.4 is mate 1.8.2 the window manager is called marco and it is version 1.8.3 an interesting thing about mate is it used about 500 megabytes that's 0.5 gigs of ram at login at idle that is the lowest out of all of the desktop environments that I tested. Now the big question is, does that translate over into better game performance? Kind of. With Mate, Fermart got a 7 frames per second, which was pretty much average across all of the desktop environments. Julia Floating Point got a 182 frames per second. Volo Explosion got a 7, which is again the same as all of the other desktop environments. Marble got a 38 frames per second. Grid of Cylinders got us 13 frames per second. Tokyo got us 7 frames per second. Now the Valley Benchmark returned 10 frames per second, and War Thunder returned 30 frames per second, which was actually the highest out of all of the War Thunder benchmarks. Remember, XFCE returned 23 frames per second, Mate returned 30 frames per second. That's actually pretty substantial. And the last desktop environment is LXDE. Now the version I found in the Ubuntu repositories was 0.5.0. I don't think that that is the latest version of LXDE, but that's the version I had available to me. And it came with OpenBox 3.5.2. So let's dive right on in. With LXDE and OpenBox, Fermark gave us 7 frames per second. Julia Floating Point, 162. Volo Explosion got 7. Marble got 38. Grid of Cylinders got 13. Tokyo gave us 7. The Valley Benchmark brought back 9, and War Thunder brought back 29. Now all in all, the LXDE environment actually had the highest scores on average of all of the other desktop environments. So the big question is, in the end, does it matter which desktop environment that you choose? And I think that the answer is kind of, but not really. 
If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave me a comment here, or you could go to my Facebook, or you could tweet me, however you like. Either way, I like to hear your feedback. I made this video specifically because of the feedback. And if you're new, subscribe, leave me a like, and of course, thank you for watching.